So the question really is, what is the Republican plan? If they say our plan is bad, well, Paul Ryan, uh, one of the, the up-and-coming Republicans, proposed the, the plan. He's the top Republican on the House Budget Committee, and he put forth what they call the roadmap. The Republican roadmap wouldn't improve Medicare. It actually ends it. Now, are you thinking, oh, this is all partisan, you know, that can't, that can't be true. But it actually is true. It would end Medicare for when they get to be 65 for everyone who is now under the age of 55. Once those people who are under 55 get to be 65, instead of Medicare, they get a voucher. Go out and find health care for yourself. And the Congressional Budget Office, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office reports that that voucher over time would be worth about a quarter of what Medicare is valued right now. The, the roadmap wouldn't require that pri private insurers actually accept those vouchers or charge affordable premiums or provide necessary benefits, making those vouchers pretty darn worthless. Let me uh, tell you what, um, let me find what one of the expert groups said. This is the Nonpartisan Center on Budget and Policy Priorities say, the Ryan plan imposes no requirement that private insurers actually offer health coverage to Medicare beneficiaries at an affordable pr price or at all. They may decide that, uh, did you want to speak well, to that? Well, let me just talk to that for a moment. You know, this is astounding. Tell them your background, too. Well, I was the insurance commissioner in California, 91 to 95, and then again in 2003 to 2007. So I've got eight years as the insurance commissioner in the biggest state in this nation with a lot of seniors. Our seniors haven't grown quite as fast as our friends uh, talked about from Nevada, but in terms of total numbers, we are so much bigger. Major, major problem for seniors. You're looking at the most expensive part of the population, the senior population. It is, and it is absolutely true that the insurance companies do not want to insure people that are going to get sick. Who's going to get sick? It's the seniors. And that's why Medicare came into place, as was described earlier, because that population has the most difficult time of obtaining insurance, and it happens to be the most expensive part. We figured out here how to provide it. And the Republicans are going to do what? They're going to give you a voucher? Right. So if I'm 54 years old now, let me get this, if I, this is correct. I'm 54, right. and if the Republicans had their way, when I become 65 in 11 years, I don't get Medicare, which provides me with a comprehensive policy that I can take anywhere in this nation. I can go to Maine and get the policy. I can go to California and get the policy. I don't get that. I get a voucher. And I'm going to go to an insurance company that I know does not want me because they know that at 65, I'm going to be expensive. You got that right. You and would get a voucher. This is the Republican program? And for those who are know. listening, let's, let's be very clear. Uh, they are saying, you know, in this health care bill, you want to cut Medicare. No, that's the point we've been saying over and over again. We're strengthening Medicare. What they want to do is do away with Medicare, replace it with vouchers, or another term that has been used in the past is privatizing. In other words, to say, well, you can take care of your health care. Uh, you know, uh, we, the insurance we'll, companies we'll even will give not. you a coupon. We'll give you a coupon. Now, the coupon is going to be of declining value over time, but but you're smart enough. You'll be you'll have saved for your golden years, and you'll be okay. Oh, that is what they propose to do. But you, you're suggesting you go back and take your privatized Social Security savings? You know, they're going to do it with Social Security, too. So they're going to do it with Medicare and Social Security, the two programs that provide security for seniors. The Republican Party has said clearly they want to do away with those. That's not where we are as Democrats. This program... As Representative Janikowski has said very clearly, strengthens Medicare, extends its life 
for at least five years. Some would say almost ten years. Yeah, but let's nine, just say five. Nine years is what uh, the best estimate is. Nine. We'll just yeah. take five, nine, whatever. Okay. It strengthens <laughs> it and pushes it out so it has the financial strength. Closes the donut hole. Well, excuse me. Reduces the donut hole by five hundred dollars immediately, and you get if and you're then, and then eliminates it over ten years. Okay, and if you're a senior of low income and moderate income, your prescription some of your prescription drugs are reduced by fifty percent. That's right. And this is a good deal, and yet we see the TV ads out there scaring seniors that somehow this is a bad deal for seniors. This program. Is a very good deal for seniors wherever they happen to be, and for every other American. And we're talking about seniors here, but for every other American, they will get access to affordable, good quality health insurance because of this legislation. Those are the facts.